नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चारवक पॉडकास्ट दिस इज कुशल मेहरा सो टुडेज पॉडकास्ट इज गोइंग टू प्रॉबली इफ यू आर ऑफ अ सर्टन बेंट हर्ट अ फ्यू पीपल इन एडवांस बट आई विल शेयर माय रीजंस बिफोर बिफोर आई इंट्रोड्यूस माय गेस्ट डॉक्टर अमित थडानी टुडे अमित इज अ डियर फ्रेंड सो एंड लकीली अमित स्टेज ओनली 5 मिनट्स अवे फ्रॉम मी सो वेयर एवर आई वांट टू गेट अमित ऑन द पॉडकास्ट आई हैव टू डू इज अवे फॉर फ्रॉम अवे घर आ and i'm it turns up but uh, pehle thank you yaar thanks for doing this uh, mujhe pata hai ki tujhe mere sath galiyan milne wali hai main bola main akela ke doob tujhe sath leke doobta hu but this is a very serious podcast uh, amit is someone i know for a long time amit is uh, not only do i respect amit as a human being i respect amit as a medical professional uh, we have many common friends and um, this has been bothering me for a while i mean i have always discussed this with amit off the record offline whether we meet in person or in whatsapp calls and and this was something deeply bothering me and i don't know why i never discussed this in the past surprisingly just one fine day i saw amit on a twitter space where amit was talking about this subject albeit with a narrow focus of only ayurved but then i told amit yaar isko thoda hum log expand karte hain and obviously we'll deal a lot with ayurved but we will also talk about ayush and everything that comes under ayush so this is my honest uh, introduction and before that amit thank you thanks a lot yaar for doing this my pleasure my pleasure so amit first we'll start obviously we'll start with ayurved and uh, i called it pseudo science and alternative medicine i did not call alternative medicine a pseudo science completely because i wanted to clear clearly say that there might be some things that may offer so i am always open to that but my reason for reaching out to you was there is so much pseudo science these days that is promoted under the garb of alternative medicine and big pharma trying to kill us now i am not sponsored by any big pharmaceutical company but the point is i care for the health of indians so let us start with first let us what is ayurvedic medicine amit okay so first of all ayurvedic medicine when we talk of ayurvedic medicine uh, technically it is a medicine which was formulated by our ancestors uh, and the formulation was found to be effective in treating certain conditions on observational studies okay hmm. and these are all old uh, uh, texts uh, which may date back hundreds to thousands of years officially there are 59 textbooks of such formulations okay uh, any medicines which appear in those uh, which are already written down the pre- the way to you know it's like a proper pharmacopoeia where what are the ingredients what are the things that need to be added together how they have to be mixed how they have to be prepared in a particular manner uh, from where you can procure the medicines and what effects they have on the body everything is mentioned about those medicines in mm-hmm. these books so when the uh, the description and ayurvedic medicines uh, have to strictly follow that particular way of preparation they have to strictly follow that uh, process uh, that is uh, how an ayurvedic medicine is prepared and that is how in fact the medicine is monitored also whether it is prepared correctly by that process so that is basically ayurvedic medicine now it's there is a lot of difference between just an ayurvedic medicine and just having some herbs uh, or herbal yeah so so what so this is a very important distinction often yeah. when i talk to people they confuse herbal medicine as ayurvedic medicine now for the now you or isko detail mein samjha please because <coughs> most people do not understand they think anything herbal is directly equal to ayurvedic because the, so this is how the common man thinks herbal equal to natural natural equal to ayurveda right or am i yeah. getting it wrong no no that's correct yeah more or less people have that uh, misconception that uh, that everything there is an overlap in people's brains when it comes to these things mm. but wo overlap hona nahi chahiye ideally because they are uh, they are not the same uh, herbal now see certain herbs are used in preparing ayurvedic medicines mm-hmm. and it may not be the same thing to use those herbs as it is directly also right 
Now, some things are there which you can use directly where you know the effect of a single herb and you, uh, uh, you know, you will use it in a particular dosage in a particular mm. manner. But what is happening is everything uh, is self medicated, and uh, that is where the problems come. You know, herbal medicines all effectively are sold under the bracket of nutraceuticals. What, is, what are nutraceuticals? See, now the thing is that these. Uh, when we're talking of nutraceuticals, what is it is? Basically, it comes under food product. It doesn't come under medicine. ये जो रास्ते में वो एक आदमी होता है जो वैन में बैठा होता है आप इतना इलाज कराओ that is herbal medicine. Uh, who knows what he is putting in? That? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Yeah, the, you don't know what they are putting in that. But basically, the thing is that all these medicines are not sold as medicine. They are promoted as medicine, but they are actually sold as food. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, there's nutraceutical is food said uh, food supplement, right? So, you know, nootropics let them look, yeah, be herbal medicine, okay, fair. whatever is sold as herbal products are basically nutraceuticals, and nutraceuticals are not covered by a pharma license of having to prove that it works. So, the easiest way to do that is to label it a food product so that they don't have to prove that it actually works as the claim is. So, basically, people are buying placebo. It may actually work, who knows? But we don't know. Because the cost of doing those studies hmm. in these herbal nutraceuticals would be so high. So what they think is, it's such a sasthe mein bech do, aur isko is category mein dal do, but they must have spent a bomb in lobbying to get this qualified in under that category, right? The government is only too happy to oblige people by putting stuff in nutraceutical uh, category, which uh, ideally you should not and uh, if if uh, see supposing i am making a claim that my product cures diabetes it cures blood pressure but when it comes to applying before the law na, they will not make that claim in writing and they will in fact even give the we don't make any such claims and it is a food supplement to be used along with other things so telling the public one thing and telling the people uh, telling the government one thing is a very common thing in this so we need to be very wary of people who are not selling medicines from a pharmacy if they are, if you if it is being sold as a nutraceutical uh, it is basically a food supplement and there is simply no guarantee that it actually will work or contains anything that works and in the US, this is bad screw up market where a melatonin tablet of three milligram can have ten or zero. So it's not not an Indian problem. It's a, it's glo a global problem. It's a global problem. So, so this is like a nice, convenient cop out. These people have found across the globe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not just in India. The supplement market is basically this is all supplement market. This is not medicine market. It's all supplement market. No, but. Then how is this coach to regulation hogi na? Ah, for basic pharmacopoeia, basic quality controls, uh, which is there. But there is no proof claim in this that it actually does work. There's no, no proof so claim in this. How do they it. market these things? Like when they put an advertisement to say sell product X to you, how do they market it? Like they, they say make, it works or something, but that's a claim, they, right? They're making. That they make the claim, then uh, someone or the other files a case against them that you prove that it works. And then the government will say misleading advertisement, you can't advertise like this. And they'll have to withdraw the advertisement. But, uh, why I'm telling you this yeah, is. This happened recently, right? With Baba Ramdev, right? Yeah. With so was, why do you think he was forced to withdraw his claims? Because he put treatment claims. The government said, show us the proof because you've taken permission under nutraceutical. You made a claim that you're going to cure the disease. Show the proof. So under nutraceutical, you cannot claim you cure the disease. You can't claim treatment, na, because it's no, a food. No. You're taking a license as a food supplement, <laughs> and you're sure, and you're telling people that it's a medicine to cure you. This is not good. This <laughs> is this is this is so unethical. I mean, and we don't want to point one person out because listen, in my own house, I use so many Patanjali products like toothpaste, shampoo, soap. Even toothbrush, uh, aata, <laughs> makhana. I, I used their toothpaste. It is good. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> it is good. No doubt. So I use I so many Patanjali products, man. See, the, the thing is what Patanjali does is, again, it keeps pushing products, telling people that this is good for this. And that is not good. It is not good for even Ayurveda. It is not good. Because then you are taking, uh, you know, you are taking... 
a treatment modality so claimed treatment modality at least and you are putting it in the hand of uh, people to use however they seem fit uh, as otc almost you know over the counter medicines what we have in in modern medicine parlance is something called as over the counter medicines so basically you are trying to pitch a nutraceutical as an otc okay so then how are these ayurvedic medicines regulated as of now so ayurvedic medicines are regulated but it's okay. a jo- proper are, ayurvedic proper, medicines uh, yes. they are regulated they are regulated yes just like allopathic medicines yeah, yes 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 okay that's good to hear in india yeah. they are there is a quality control they have to uh, specify minimum uh, you know the because there is a question of heavy metal poisoning involved uh, which comes up keeps coming up so they have to show that the the amount of heavy metals is within acceptable limits they have to uh show that it is prepared exactly as per the uh you know directives uh, what the formulary which is mentioned the process is exactly the process is followed there are contaminant level tests so they are they are regulated it's they are not completely unregulated so that's a heartening sign but the problem is from what i have understood is in this entire uh, marketplace of court in courts for the audio listeners ayurvedic medicine most of it is actually not ayurvedic medicine uh, so are there studies done to see how much of the market is actual ayurvedic medicine and how much of the market is just this nutraceuticals which are basically food I, I, do we know about that or something of that sort i don't know any study which has monitored how many uh, what percentage of the thing is ayurvedic and what percentage is nutraceutical but legit ayurvedic medicines will be a very small percentage because the manufacturers are there you know like bednath and uh, you know even for that matter patanjali manufacturers and so are... even patanjali has actual real ayurvedic medicines oh yes yeah they do they have ayurveda acharyas to give them but the thing is that if you have an ayurveda acharya who examines the person decides what is the symptoms what treatment needs to be given and then that person gives it is one thing but when you start doing this janta marketing of your product ke ये इसको लिवर में सूजन है इसको ले लो लिवर बिल्कुल ठीक हो जाएगा दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल सॉरी यू नो सो ओके नाउ लेट्स गेट इनटू दिस क्लासिक थिंग और एंड वुड यू रोड दिस मैसेज आल्सो टू मी सो यू नो मेनी पीपल हैव दिस नोशन दैट आयुर्वेदा क्योर्स डिजीजेस फ्रॉम द रूट लाइक अ वेरी माइक्रो वे ऑफ डीलिंग एंड एलोपैथी इज जस्ट सुपरफिशियल इट्स अ वेरी मैक्रो वे ऑफ डीलिंग विद द मेडिसिन लाइक मैं कितनी बार भी लोगों को मिला हूं ना जो फुल डिस्कलोजर आई वॉन्ट टू पुट माई कार्ड फ्रंट आई डोंट यूज आई वेदा आई डोंट यूज होम्योपैथी आई डोंट यूज उनानी आई डोंट यूज एनी थिंग दैट आई यूज दस बींग वेरी क्लियर इक्का दुक्का कभी कर लिया ठीक है मुझे कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता बट आई एम अ पर्सन हु बिलीव दैट मॉडर्न मेडिकल साइंस is consistent uh, are they pure and pious no i am not saying they are pure and pious i am not uh, standing up for the pharma companies especially after covid and what they have done <laughs> but i still believe in mo- modern science or science which has been done properly so having explained myself what is the difference between what is quote and quote called modern medicine and no i refuse to call it western because it's not western it's indian it's pakistani also if pakistan does something it is global medicine which is modern and ayurvedic kya difference hai bhai so basic difference why we call it modern medicine is because it has to go through certain uh, stages supposing a new drug has to be introduced it has to go through certain stages of uh, you know tests first someone will create a molecule and he'll do an in vitro test on cells okay mm. and see what action it has on the living cells right then he'll see okay this seems to have this this action what is the way that it acts mm. the mo- mechanism of action at a molecule that which molecule does it affect which cell membrane does it go through how does it go inside what effect does it have on the f- actual working of the cell mm. and what are its action after it sees that some okay now this this drug seems to be killing tumor cells <clears throat> then after that the next thing is that they'll start giving uh, that in uh, animal studies so small animal studies will be done mm-hmm. to see whether in animal studies also it has the same effect mm-hmm. or not right 
and in animal studies uh, whether it has a same effect and not only that whether it is toxic to the animal or mm-hmm. not and if it is toxic then at what dose is it toxic to the animals <clears throat> what is the safety profile up to what level the animal can withstand that toxicity hmm. once it crosses this stage and more than 70 80% medicines do not cross this stage mm-hmm. okay after that when it comes into the next stage then you start doing limited human trials okay after doing limited human trials when it is still found to be safe and reasonably effective then you go for large scale human trials at at which point the medicine will get permission to be introduced into the market so this is the way that the entire regulatory process goes where regulators are there at every level mm-hmm. you need to uh, prove that it's working at every level and you need to prove a certain amount of safety you have to list down the effects the side effects the uh, you know adverse effects and the side effects and adverse effects are two different things okay so uh, side effects are things you expect adverse effects are things you don't expect uh, to happen you know with the medicine so okay. it's like that so you need to list out everything you need to list out what is the effect on the kidney you need to list out what is the effect on the liver which is the route from which it will exit the body how much time it will take to exit the body everything has to be listed down mm-hmm. okay then you get into the permissions and then finally you get one drug so obviously this is a long turn out expensive uh, process which uh, comes into play now Fair that enough. the reason for the company to do all this is because they get a patent and now they have pro, uh, you know they they have brought the molecule so for a certain number of years they have an exclusive right to sell it and anybody else who wants it has to pay them a royalty then uh, then they can sell it hmm. right? so that is the patent system that okay i put my intellectual property i did so much of effort to bring this molecule yeah. into the market so i am going to get exclusive rights to sell it uh, for so many x number of years usually it's Got 10 it. or 12 years so it, it goes this is the process for an ayurvedic medicine the only proof it requires to produce is that it is made exactly in the same way that it is specified in the text this sounds like the courts and essential religious practice doctrine <laughs> no seriously i'm being i mean i know it sounds funny but so the thing is that there is a, there have been observational studies on these medicines for a few hundred years and they have found that they are effective and that's why they are noted down but that does not mean that you don't do any more studies and just accept everything as it is okay and i am saying this because of certain actual reasons now i say okay observational study has been done like for example ashwagandha they say it boosts immunity it actually does boost immunity yeah, yeah. in There's fact no P- peter atia also was stating yeah. a few studies that ashwagandha yeah. actually does boost your immunity yeah so it is well known so it's not as so many of the modern medicine drugs are basically what is called as active ingredient of the same plant yeah i mean in right. fact anand ne bhi malaria or tuberculosis ah. case mein jo research ki usme usne use kiya plants ki. because what they do hmm. is they will find out what is the exact molecule from this plant which is actually showing this effect yeah then they will find it they'll purify it they'll refine it and they'll see what dose it is producing that effect fair enough and then from that dose further on it, it the dosages will be fixed okay we have to give this much to this much as the dose range you can't go above this you should not go below this what is the level it is going to stabilize at in the blood all that needs to be studied whereas in ayurveda it's all uncontrolled basically so even It's the studies are not because, rigorous see ek taraf se sab log you must have also read that what nutrition our food used to have 1000 years back is not there now because the soil quality has changed the amount of uh, contaminants in the soil have changed Absolutely. right Every, we all accept that the food that we get nowadays is nowhere close to being as nutritious the pre same... and post green revolution hi dekh le na yeah so now i i i am putting this question to you that how do you know that the herbs which have been used for preparing or the foods that have been used for preparing contain the same amount of medical substances that it used to have at that time how do you know we don't know right you know it's impossible until you don't study them exactly so that is the thing that if you don't know what it contains and you blindly follow the prescription which was written a thousand or a 2000 or 3000 years back it's not fair to the person who's ultimately been given the medicine because you don't you yourself may not know whether that is going to work the same way or not so yes we do need to conduct you conduct the trials the way you want right using the criteria you want you want to keep bath pit cuff as your criteria go ahead you design the trial the way you want right you want to do observational studies do observation you want to do rct do rct hmm 
बट डोंट से दैट नहीं जस्ट बिकॉज इट इज रिटर्न इन माई बुक लाइक दिस इट इज इट इज नोन टू वर्क सो आई हैव नेवर गोन टू स्टडी इट अगेन नो दैट्स दैट्स नॉट द वे दैट that even our probably our ancestors would have wanted who who put all this knowledge together so as of mm-hmm. now are there because see what from what i understand one of the key you know pillars of uh, modern scientific method is longitudinal studies when something is done okay you you introduce a medicine in the market is one but the key factor in medicine is you have longitudinal studies where people after they are given this medication they are tested for over a long period of time and there is replication that a completely different set of people with the sole aim of proving the first set wrong try to do the same studies again and then if that thing is replicated and the same results come it is then that we in the modern scientific world <laughs> irrespective of where we are from that we come to conclude that this thing works is ayurveda doing any longitudinal study right now there are studies going on okay uh, there are studies being done by ayurvedic uh, physicians mm-hmm. mainly at government run institutions and at other in training teaching institutions mm-hmm. only mm-hmm. Uh, so they are trying to see uh, you know certain herbs and certain formulations and whether they whether they are effective and mm-hmm. and whether they are effective in certain other conditions so yes but the numbers are nowhere close to and and um, frankly many of the studies are not very great quality wise also i guess uh, over a period of time they should become better but the fact is there is no money in doing the studies uh, and i have i've been seeing the the government website actually lists many studies and i'm seeing 2015 16 studies are still showing as not finished so i mean i don't know why but uh, many of the studies uh, seem to be funded by government to do the studies but they, they don't seem to end or they, they have not updated what is the result of the study so we need to have completed studies uh, there are around 20000 research papers right now mm. which are phd and uh, you know the ug pg uh, thesis uh, topics of children who have done uh, uh, you know ayurvedic uh, medicine so those are also there they are now, now thesis mein bahut fake up ki hota hai obviously and even mbbs mein hota hai i'm not saying <laughs> mbbs mein also post graduation mein research is all there is a lot of bluffing happening there so we don't we can't rely on that research paper for any serious work as such by and large hmm. but there are other studies going on at a very low level but unfortunately the, the you know the 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 way that the uh modern medicine companies take a molecule and push it this has not probably will not happen in ayurveda no all. another thing amit that is open uh you know you you go on instagram you go on whatsapp you go on twitter you have these random chats with people they say ayurveda actually cures the disease but modern medicine only suppresses the disease there is no curative <laughs> aspect in modern medicine I mean, how can people get away with something like that? बोलने में क्या जाता है? यार मगर लोगों की जान है यार. I'll say that it, this is first of all absolutely not true, right? We also try our best to cure the disease, and we do cure most of the diseases. If a person comes with infective infective conditions, you will get cured with modern medicines. If you come with uh, surgical emergencies, you will get cured with modern medicines plus surgical techniques, mm-hmm. right? Uh, you, the, we, we cure a hell lot of diseases. Now, do we cure hypertension, diabetes? No, but neither does Ayurveda, mm. right? If you see what they do is they'll tell you, "Hum jard se nikalte hain," and then they'll keep the patient on Ayurvedic medicines for life. बीमारी जड़ से निकालते हैं नो दैट्स नॉट हाउ इट इज जनरली वॉट आई टेल यू फ्रॉम माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ नाउ ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस इयर्स इन मेडिसिन इज दैट ईच पर्सन हैज some of the other system which is slightly weaker than the others maybe some people will have more prone to respiratory problems hmm. some people will be more prone to gastric problems some hmm. people will be more prone to neurological problems they will just have a tendency to get those illnesses more often right than others hmm. so what probably our ancestors did is they saw that certain people have certain types of you know body types and certain people have certain body types and they classified them and said ke ye group of persons ko respiratory zyada hota hai ye group of persons ko and they labeled it as vat pit cough is mm. what 
I can say that you know they have done observational studies. They classified people as. So, इसको ऐसा दवाई देना है, इसको ऐसा दवाई देना है, इसको ऐसा दवाई देना है. So for their time, it was a logical classification because yeah. they didn't have any investigations, right? They didn't have any lab tests. They didn't have any knowledge of the detailed physiological at a cell cell level or a molecular level what is happening with the person. It was a very advanced technique thing for, for that time. For their time, yeah. But we have better ways of knowing what's going on with the body, how the body functions at a macro level as well as at a micro level. Fair I enough. know which is how the system functions. I know how much the heart is throwing out blood every minute, right? I know how much my lungs are oxygenating blood in every second. Uh, I have that kind of knowledge which my ancestors would have given an arm and leg for. Mm. Had they known, they would have done exactly what we are doing now. Mm. So now we have access to better ways of knowing how the body functions. I don't know how anybody can claim that five thousand year old thing is jad se nikalna and current medicine by you. No, maybe maybe ten thousand x of what our ancestors knew about the body is just surface treatment. <laughs> That's not true. Now something that bothers me all the time when it comes to this and unnecessary uh, superimposition on modern human beings is that. Listen, Ayurveda <laughs> worked at a time where, you know, we wouldn't. I mean, it is pre-processed food. Now, what the hell does processed food do to our body? Is an altogether different phenomenon. Point number one. Like there were certain diseases that literally did not exist. They are literally modern diseases, right? They did not exist then. Secondly, when Ayurveda is not even in a position to know these things. I'll tell you simple blood pressure machine nahi tha wo time pe. <laughs> and ayurvedic medicines claim to treat hypertension how is it possible <laughs> i mean see we we used to they used to have something called as nadi shastra where they used to do a crude measurement with the two fingers uh-huh. as to and judge ke maybe the blood pressure is high maybe it is you know <laughs> you can't uh compare the two things at all we have access to so many better resources now so, so but okay what if somebody came back and said okay now we have access to these resources now we'll also use them and show you we work most welcome why not i mean that's what i want you use them you do studies and show that it works that is modern medicine at the end of the day that i am showing proof that my medicine works tum karo studies or prove karo kisne mana kiya hai bhai but people will say, no, we will not do your kind of studies, so we will not do studies. No, you design your own study you, the way you want to study it. It just should make scientific sense. That is what serious researchers will do. Mm-hmm. What we consider the gold standard is ra- randomized controlled. To yeah. show, right, randomized control is considered gold standard for a reason because we are randomizing two groups to match everything else, like all other factors remaining the same. One is given a medicine, one is given a placebo. You don't even tell the people which one you're giving what. So they are both completely blind set of people. And then you see how much effect, these many number of effective in this, those many effective in that. So you know exactly whether it's a placebo effect or the drug is actually working. No, but then what is the reason? Why don't (laughs) they do these studies? Why don't they file for patents like all these modern medicine manufacturers? Why don't they do it? These formulations are written in books which are hundreds and thousands of years old. They can't patent them. They can't be patented. right? Now, there are ways and means around this, I guess, where they can use these formulations, bring them into a modern uh, process, manufacturing process, and get a process patent, which is how our cheap pharma industry functions in India. Process patent. They don't have molecule patent. And drugs which are uh, out of the patent uh, are are in India. We have something called as process patent uh, technique, meaning the, you can't patent the molecule, but you can patent the method by which you prepared that molecule and formulated it into a drug. Hmm. So that there is always competition, and the customer always gets the medicine cheap. So in the West, one company has a monopoly for sale. Here in India, we can't have a monopoly for sale. You have multiple companies manufacturing the drug, but the patent is on the way that you prepared it. Hmm. So it's up to pharma companies, uh, the Ayurvedic majors, whether they can find innovative ways to prepare the Ayurvedic medicines and formulate it so that it can be presented to the uh, to the patient 
in a very sophisticated delivery method that can be done right and that they can get a patent on so it's not a a technology issue <laughs> that the means are available it's just that a lot of these manufacturers of ayurvedic products they just don't want to do it because they feel why do we need to do it that's just too much work because it's clear that uh, even you are saying that some of these things might truly work and in fact if we do more research we end up benefiting i have seen people taking uh, ayurvedic medicines for uh, diabetes and being very well controlled on them i have seen it so they yes they do work now the thing is if i will ask you claim that your medicines don't have side effects where is your listed uh, pharmacopoeia and effects and side effects in that see uh, simple i am saying that my medicine if you take at a at a x dose it will bring your sugar to normal if you take maybe uh, x plus 5 your sugar will crash hmm aapke pass mein kahan likha hua hai so the studies that at what dose and at what dose it becomes toxic are not public right whereas in in modern medicine all the information you search you will find it available online but in ayurveda you find this nonsense that no side effect nonsense what we say and if if something has an effect on the body there is no way that it will not have a side effect on the body because a side effect is what is a side effect basically hmm. i'll tell you one thing i say that i am going to uh, drink lots of water mm -hmm. right water is hydrating my system but i forgot to add electrolytes to the water right mm -hmm. now the side effect of having too much water will be that it will affect my blood salt levels mm -hmm. even plain water has got side effects so mm -hmm. how can anybody say that you know a medicine which is supposedly curing diseases will have no effect anywhere else in the body that's not how things work so the fair expectation in this case amit would be i mean i'm speaking on behalf mm. of ayurvedic people would be you you regulate them and make them write these things not yeah. stop them exactly so you need to be honest to your customer and say that this this is a potential side effect if you look at if you get this this let me know or if you know that a particular ayurvedic medicine is toxic to liver or is toxic to kidney you monitor it with the regular blood we have facilities available to monitor right so mm. you do monitor with and and it is a fact that some ayurvedic medicines do affect the liver and kidney and any genuine ayurveda acharya will will tell you this upfront they do know that some medicines are toxic to kidney some medicines are toxic to liver so they know it's not as if they don't know i have you saw that twitter space we were talking about that ayurveda acharya was so frank in telling that anyone who is saying that ayurvedic medicines don't have side effects is a charlatan he was himself an ayurveda acharya who openly said this statement so they any legitimate practitioner will know what effect his drug is going to have the only drugs which have no effect are drugs which have no effect right साइड इफेक्ट नहीं है तो इफेक्ट भी नहीं होम्योपैथी तो फिर होम्योपैथी होम्योपैथी भी तो हम बाद में आएंगे अभी तक तो हम आयुर्वेद पे हैं होम्योपैथी के एक अलग फैन फैंडम है आई मीन माय हॉस्टिलिटी टू यू नो इन आयुष आयुर माय हॉस्टिलिटी टू आयुर्वेदा इज द लीस्ट माय हॉस्टिलिटी टू ऑल द अदर्स इज द मोस्ट लास्ट एज क्यों है वो मुझे समझता नहीं है व्हाई इज दैट एज देयर इट्स अ जर्मन दिस इज नॉट इंडिजिनस इंडियन या मगर हो है क्योंकि हमको रखना है नो बट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो नाउ दीज इंग्रीडियंट्स एंड दिस इज अनदर पॉइंट दैट यू नो दीज एक्टिव इंग्रीडियंट्स एंड द कंसर्न्स अराउंड देम नो देयर वाज अ लॉट ऑफ करफफल अराउंड दिस ऑन सोशल मीडिया वेयर पीपल सेड आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन का कोई साइड इफेक्ट ही नहीं होता है इट इज नेचुरल एवरीथिंग नेचुरल हैज नो साइड इफेक्ट हाउ ओके इफ आई एम एट अ डाइनिंग टेबल कन्वर्सिंग विद सम एल्डर्स बिकॉज़ देखो हर घर में आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन होती है वो तेरे और मेरे घर में भी है डिस्पाइट अस हैविंग सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स विद इट ठीक है हमारी तो चलती नहीं है एंड में हमारे पेरेंट्स वो लेने ही वाले हैं पॉइंट ये है कि मैं मैं मेरे पेरेंट्स को कभी ना नहीं बोलता मैं कभी ना नहीं बोलता मैं सिर्फ उनसे क्वेश्चन पूछता हूँ तो आज मैं पूरा एक्सरसाइज क्यों कर रहा हूँ ना मजे की बात है मेरे पेरेंट्स भी ये देख रहे होंगे तो उनको भी ये आंसर मिल जाएंगे अभी पॉइंट ये है कि देर आर एक्टिव इनग्रीडियंट्स इन आयुर्वेदा एंड स्टडीज है that they can harm right yeah and their levels can be measured for example there was there is a very nice paper i read the other day 
in which uh, the person has measured the levels of certain things like piperine and other things in chavan prash to show whether the chavan prash the three main active ingredients so to speak he knows the ayurveda acharya knows which are the three active ingredients which are uh, having the beneficial effects in chavan prash and he's found a paper chromatography way to study the levels of them in chavan prash that's good that's heartening yeah so there are people who are doing this kind of research nice to see and, that and this you know? is an ayurveda acharya so yeah. he cares for his people exactly but jo log aise claims karte hai na ki kuch nahi kuch nahi sab chipka ho no magar yahi to sabse sab sab dangerous hai na yeah. see an ayurveda acharya is trying to improve his own craft because he actually believes in the scientific methods and here you have massive people coming on tv all these influencers and and all these companies they just peddle rubbish after rubbish all the time that is see people say hum big pharma ko khatam karna chahte no boss you are big pharma pharma you are also you, big pharma so basically, but you are a fraud big pharma because you are not even selling your product as medicine yeah. you are selling it as food product and telling people it's medicine exactly so you know what this is i always get reminded of this you know new term godi media hum log bolte hain ek bar maine chidke kisi ko bola tha this was a senior journalist naam lene ki zarurat nahi hai matlab tum yaar kis muh se godi media godi media abhi bol rahe ho मैंने बोला सिर्फ गोदी तो बदली है <laughs> पहले कोई किसी और की गोदी होती थी अभी किसी और की गोदी है तो so बेसिकली ये जो टसल है फ्रॉम व्हाट आई अंडरस्टूड ये टसल बेसिक ये नहीं है कि हमको पब्लिक बेनिफिट करना है टसल ये है कि इन्होंने इतने टाइम बहुत मौजे किए हैं अब हमको वो मौजे चाहिए तो हम लोगों को बोलेंगे ये चोर है हम ईमानदार है बेसिकली यही है ना दे आर ऑल्सो बिग बिजनेस दे आर ऑल्सो बिग बिजनेस कितना है टर्न ओवर अभी पतंजलि का दस करोड़ हाँ and they call other and, big and, pharma and, and i'm not against them also <laughs> they're probably I bigger than most their products <laughs> they're they're pro- they probably bigger than most big pharma <laughs> yeah so i mean this is very interesting and so yaar but this is i have i'll tell you one thing they have a very good ayurveda treatment center in rishikesh they they do okay. actually and i'm not kidding one one of my mom's uh, clients was there who was terminal cancer okay he was fully treated 25 kilo ka ho gaya tha marne ke liye stage 4 disease mein tha he had lung cancer and he went there and he came back fully cured he's still alive mm. and well okay so yeah and and it's remarkable because i discussed this case with some of my colleagues and they said ke spontaneous remission hoga so there is a reluctance on our part maybe to accept now i i got so surprised ki ye kya hai i sent a second uh, i sent one lady thi a ca iso pegas thi recurrent thi she said i don't want surgery i said okay chemo radiation i don't want chemo radiation i said theek hai jao hand pe ke pass jao fir to main kuch nahi kar sakta na surgery na radiation na chemo we are out <laughs> go to ramde baba <laughs> so she went there and eventually did not take medicines even there ke ha itna sara dawai kon lega so that kind of person unko plane mein koi ek sino vedic cure wala mil gaya aur usne 11000 rupaye ki kuch 12000 ki itni choti si ek bottle ki chipka dali usko ye goli le lo subah sham puri theek ho jayegi nothing obviously she died a few months later <laughs> kuch bhi nahi hua usko so this is how things go in this sector <laughs> what to say people make claims Sometimes those claims just turn out to be correct by sheer luck or by good fortune or expert whatever. Hmm. But most of the times nothing happens. Now the surprising thing is that when this patient, I am saying, who went to Gaiti Patanjali, he gave us the answer that we cannot cure you. They did not tell her that we can cure you. So they were honest. Yeah, but that was an Ayurveda Charya who saw her and said, in this particular thing, we do not have good success rates. But if you want, you can still try. so there are legit guys even in patanjali and divya and i will say divya pharmacy because divya is the actual medicine maker hmm. baki jo patanjali naam se aata hai wo are, are all nutraceuticals jo divya pharmacy naam se aata hai wo actual ayurvedic medicine ke taraf bikta hai so wo, wo regulated hai ha there Partially, are some albeit uh, sir there may be some of them which are regulated even the covid ka jo coronal tha eventually they brought it as nutraceutical only na to avoid avoid showing the study तो यार वो न्यू प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में तो आके हमने इलाज कर दिया हमने इलाज कर दिया बोल रहे थे दे वर ऑल माइल्ड मॉडरेट केसेस वेयर वाज शैन द पेशेंट्स वर बीइंग ट्रीटेड साइमल्टेनियसली विद स्टेरॉइड्स आल्सो द सीवियर वन मॉडरेट सीवियर मॉडरेट एंड सीवियर वंस 
सिवियर तो इसमें एक भी नहीं था उसमें माइल्ड मॉडरेट थे माइल्ड में तो वैसे ही कुछ नहीं दिया तो भी ठीक हो जाते हैं द मॉडरेट वंस वर बीइंग साइमल्टेनियसली आल्सो गिवन स्टेरॉइड्स सो वेयर वाज द प्योर स्टडी देयर वाज नेवर एनी प्योर स्टडी राइट यू एंड एनीवन हु क्लेम्स अ 100% क्योर रेट इज अ फ्रॉड आई विल टेल यू नो नथिंग एवर हैज अ 100% सक्सेस रेट इनफैक्ट वी आर एक्सप्रेसली फॉर एज मेडिकल प्रैक्टिशनर्स वी आर एक्सप्रेसली फॉरबिडन फ्रॉम मेकिंग अ 100% क्योर क्लेम फॉर एनीथिंग our medical ethics forbid us from doing it hmm. we are not even allowed to say that ha guaranteed cure so that is the fundamental difference between us modern medicine practitioners because we have certain code of conduct we cannot claim a cure 100% to bilkul hi nahi we cannot even when we um, surgical consent hota hai na form jo if you see na surgical consent form mein bhi likha hota hai no no guarantee is given for the results of the procedure Hmm. to that extent we are regulated and yahan par ye log khade ho ke bol rahe hain hum to pura cure karte har ek ko cure karte koi side effect bhi nahi hota koi kuch nahi hota and then you wonder why medical modern medicine practitioners don't take them seriously obviously we can't because that's and not there is hostility we... also ha because of that only ki ye log khade reh ke aise claims kar rahe hain samne samne and we are not even allowed to make such claims let alone stand and say something like that we we look down upon it for a reason hmm. Mm. It, it it is it is a mess but then now i want to <laughs> enter into the last subject before i get into ayush this self medication business let's let's spend some time over here listen i have met enough doctors in my life who have told me agar tumko cough and कफ तो नहीं मगर कोल्ड है तो बेसिकली चुप बैठ जाओ थोड़े दिनों के लेट्स व्हाट आई एम डूइंग आई मीन यू हैव टोल्ड मी मल्टीपल टाइम्स वी हैव कॉमन डॉक्टर फ्रेंड्स हु हैव टोल्ड मी मल्टीपल टाइम्स बियॉन्ड अ पॉइंट बेसिकली कुछ हो नहीं सकता बट आई सी दीस डेंजरस सेल्फ मेडिकेशन हैबिट्स और ये इंडियंस में बहुत ज्यादा है स्पेशली द प्रीवियस जनरेशन आई मीन आई हैव सीन माय ओन एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली कुछ भी आएगा ना ये गोली ले ले ये चिटका ले वो चिटका ले ना इट इज ऑल्सो अ प्रॉब्लम इन इंडिया दैट बिना मेडिकेशन के बिना प्रिस्क्रिप्शन के इंडिया में कोई भी मेडिसिन मिल जाती है दैट इज अनलाइक द डिवेलप्ड वर्ल्ड वेयर यू जस्ट कांट गेट इट अदर देन अ टाइलेनॉल एंड अ फ्यू अदर मेडिकेशन विच आर अवेलेबल ऑफ द शेल्फ ओवर देयर टू बट मोस्ट मेडिकेशन इज नॉट अवेलेबल ओवर देयर आपको प्रॉपर प्रिस्क्रिप्शन लेनी पड़ती है ये यार ये सेल्फ मेडिकेशन का क्राइसिस कितना बड़ा है इंडिया में बहुत बड़ा है एस्पेशली सी इवन मॉडर्न मेडिसिन वी हैव अ वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स विद फार्मासिस गिविंग एंटीबायोटिक्स ओवर द काउंटर एंड इट इज यू नो कभी-कभी पेशेंट जाएगा उनके पास में के कॉफ कोल्ड है एंड द सीधा एजिथ्रोमाइसिन चिपका देंगे इट्स इट्स अ रिस्ट्रिक्टेड यूज एंटीबायोटिक एंड नोबडी इवन बॉदर्स लाइक बट दैट इज द पर्सन गिविंग इट इज अ फार्मासिस्ट नाउ इन आयुर्वेदा व्हाट इज द थिंग इज दैट आयुर्वेदिक फार्मेसीज हैं but they don't even have a requirement for an ayurvedic pharmacist to be dispensing the medicines what yeah there is no such requirement this is ridiculous so that's how liberal the regulatory system is for ayurvedic medicines that you don't even know uh. that the guy who is sitting at that counter and giving you stuff is is actually a legit pharmacist or not uh, whether you know so that there, there are severe issues uh, with this now self medication is because people have been promoting left right and center on television on radio on whatever that this thing is effective for this this thing is effective for this and because hum log ka desh 140 crore doctors ka desh hai everybody thinks they are a doctor i tell my patients ke you don't, you don't need any particular diet you have your normal diet whatever you were having before surgery you have that same diet after surgery wo ghar pe chawal nahi khane ka aloo nahi khane ka ये नहीं खाने का वो नहीं खाने का बेचारा पेशेंट को इतना रिस्ट्रिक्शन डाल देते हैं खाली उबला हुआ खाने का ऐसे <laughs> मार डालोगे बेचारे को <laughs> क्या कर रहे हो सो आई टेल बाबा यू आर फॉलोइंग थिंग्स दैट आई हैव नॉट इवन टोल्ड यू टू नहीं बट उससे जख्म पकता है ऐसे ठीक है अगर चावल से जख्म पकता है साउथ इंडिया में क्या करेंगे लोग <laughs> चपाती खाना शुरू कर देंगे आई मीन सी देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स विच डोंट मेक सेंस एंड यू नो दैट्स आर ओ अनफॉर्चुनेटली देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ misconceptions and everybody starts dispensing medical advice so that adds to the problem now the pro- other thing is that people have promoted ke 
लिव फिफ्टी टू ले लो लिवर के लिए देल ड्रिंक एल्कोहल एंड टेक लिव फिफ्टी टू टू प्रोटेक्ट द लिवर जो होता है आई एम टेलिंग यू नॉट फनी दिस पीपल आर डूइंग पीपल डू दिस so what can you say what can you say Sorry. to such people i should be more serious but i just can't stop laughing yes <laughs> <laughs> i actually i've seen people doing all this shit uh, so <laughs> so we are a very different kind of public now in this it's very very difficult to prevent self regulation you know to prevent self i will say put the onus of any truth claim of medicine on the on the pharma company first of all that you are selling a product x you say that this has uh, whatever x y z this this effective in this condition and make it available only on a prescription of a registered ayurveda practitioner now this is not difficult hum log ke liye bhi there is a whole long list of medicines which is only available on the prescription and there is a separate list which can be dispensed as otc over the counter which the pharmacist can give ke paracetamol hai ye hai ye le lo which are not going to really have any great side effects as such to wo those medicines the pharmacist level pe dispense hota hai that same thing has to be brought into this also so that this self medication thing is curtailed mm. and i'm telling you i had been years back to uh, uh, shanti kunj ashram haridwar ओके नाउ शांति कुंज आश्रम हरिद्वार में पूरा का पूरा आयुर्वेदिक कॉलेज है देर इज अ फुल आयुर्वेदिक हॉस्पिटल देर ओके देर इज ऑल्सो मॉडर्न मेडिसिन हॉस्पिटल टू बोथ नाउ वहां पर ना मैं उनके स्टोर में गया ना तो वहां पर बहुत सारे आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन रखे हुए थे ऐसे नीचे ये किसके लिए है वो किसके लिए है? बोलता है ये आपको मिल नहीं सकता यू वॉन्ट गो टू द हॉस्पिटल देर इज अ डॉक्टर सिटिंग देर टेल एम योर प्रॉब्लम ही विल टेल विच मेडिसिन टू बी गिवन दिस इज गुड वेरी गुड आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी I was really very happy because they take their job seriously. Yeah. So it's not as if people don't know that. See, there has to be certain dignity of or respect which Ayurveda Charya should enjoy. Hmm. ये सब के चक्कर में बेचारे Ayurvedic doctors क्या कर रहे हैं? उनको मालूम है कि वो patient कहीं ना कहीं से कुछ ढाप के कहीं से कुछ ले लेगा तो why will they themselves do that practice? So most of them end up doing Ayurvedic uh, practice. छोड़के they end up doing uh, you know prescribing other pathi medicines. You know in this the biggest victims are actual Ayurveda shastra charyas. They are the biggest victims in this entire shit show. Why do you think so many of them want to do bridge course and do modern medicine? Because they are fed up of these charlatans and frauds that have ruined. बहुत ज़्यादा है ना so market is being captured by sort of You know, charlatans. Then, unka demand come ho jata hai na. Then, then they end up of practicing modern medicine, and, and then we end up as modern medicine practitioners resenting the fact that we went through such a stringent course. Their course curriculum is substandard. The course uh, requirements are substandard. The medical colleges are substandard, and they just do a bridge course and they become equal to us. So this hmm. is a this is a and this is a fact, huh, by the way. If you see the requirements to put a medical college, na, actually, that me most of these guys are most of these uh, institutions are putting Ayush colleges rather than MBBS colleges because so bridge course they can they can scam hai. bridge course scam nahi hai. I welcome bridge course. So, then what is your issue? Kya? Modern medicine doctors have a problem with bridge course because they don't want more people coming. Our in. common friend has also criticized it. I mean, yeah. I'm not letting him. Haan, haan. So, after that, I have to. So, bridge course? Why people are doing modern medicine? Because they think that I have done BMS and after that, I can write all allopathic medicines. So, it's not fair, though, na? It's not fair, but at least they they are writing something legit. Yeah. 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 Yeah
करते हैं घर पे आके मैं और चार पांच और लोग आएंगे तुमने होम्योपैथी तो अगर की ना तुमने बट ओके नाउ लेट अस गेट इनटू द अभी अभी हम बाकियों की बात करते हैं ओके वी फॉरगेट आयुर्वेद यार ओके व्हाट डू आई डू विद माय फ्रेंड्स हु स्वेयर बाय होम्योपैथी मतलब मैं क्या करूं <laughs> मैं मैं क्या करूं मैं मतलब मैं अपना सर मार लूं दीवार पे मैं मैं अब दीवार तोड़ दूं मैं And क्या करूं इट्स द ओनली साइंटिफिक मेडिसिन दैट हैज अ लोअर सक्सेस रेट देन प्लेसिबो यार बट क्यों शक्कर क्यों अच्छा करते लोग सबको <laughs> शक्कर खा लो ना या सो रिसेंटली आई वाज जस्ट चैटिंग विद अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन हु सेड अरे माय होम्योपैथी रियली क्योर्ड माय बैड थ्रोट and i said yeah sugar really helps the throat <laughs> so he looked at me and said ke no no it's not only sugar i said yeah yeah even cough lozenges are only sugar only <laughs> they work you know they work you you feel nice you eat a piece of chocolate your throat will feel so nice it's not even medicine mm-hmm. try it sometimes <laughs> so yeah sugar helps the throat i mean it acha lagta hai khane mein so yeah the sugar pills work <laughs> or something like that see now coming to whether whether it is a legitimate science absolutely not i mean there is a meta analysis <laughs> done on all homeopathic studies and it showed that it has a less than a, a placebo success rate yes, yaar i mean it's ridiculous 20 years nhs uk gave homeopathic medicines 20 years ka data unke paas hai after reviewing the 20 years data over thousands and thousands of patients they said this shit doesn't work they were criticized for saying it doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. जिसको नहीं मानना है वो नहीं मानेगा I mean, tell me, what sort of science is? Okay. I tell you today कि मैंने एक पैक बनाया है मेरा विस्की का और मैं उसमें जितना ज्यादा पानी डालूंगा वो उतना स्ट्रॉन्ग होगा विल यू किक मी और नॉट बट पीपल एक्सेप्ट दिस लॉजिक फॉर होम्योपैथी होम्योपैथ से वॉटर गॉट ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड एंड नाउ द वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स है मेमोरी ऑफ दैट ड्रग and that has become very stronger and i'll dilute it a thousand more times and it will become thousand more times stronger also so just for people to give you a perspective <laughs> imagine this is your homeopathic medicine okay this medicine will go in the equivalent of a sea that amount of water so that is the medicine you're taking o pani pee lo yeah but it tastes nice wo hai dekh main mere bachpan mein mere ko hai na sabse acha wo meethi goli lagti thi homeopathy ki maza aata tha ka ke kyunki wo meethi hoti thi see my first experience with the homeopath uh, i was not a medical student also at that time i was just a kid right i had gone to a homeopath with my parents and mere ko kuch bukhar ukar tha aur usne kuch homeopathy ki dawai di thi wo time pe mujhe and i felt completely fresh energetic etc etc i felt great and i was like cured then he said my dad was that time diagnosed as hypertensive he said i'm going to give you medicines even for the hypertension and my dad kept going to him follow up bp uh, monitoring ke liye and he kept saying yeah it's nicely controlled it's nicely controlled and one day we got our own bp machine and checked and the bp was sky high that bugger had been lying throughout oh my god that's when i said boss ye kuch to gadbad hai yahan pe That's when I, that's my that was when I realized that there there are people who will not even tell you that they are harming you and they'll keep chipcoing you. I have seen people. Okay, yeah, imagine a young boy. And there is a condition called uh, undescended testes. I Means the testes are inside the abdomen okay. or in the groin. And by one year of age, one year of age, that they have to be brought down into the scrotum. Otherwise, the testes are gone forever. The child, the person is infertile for life. Okay. I have seen homeopaths giving medicines to these children for three years, saying that "niche aa jayega." They deserve to be shot. They deserve to be shot. Two two years, hernia ke liye Ayurvedic homeopathic dawai khilate hain aur uske baad bolte hain abhi surgeons ke paas jao. Kaise log hai ye? The true believers. I mean. See, it's one thing giving the person sugar and telling the person to give, but it's these are legitimate medical conditions where the person can suffer lifelong problems because of your stupidity. कैसे लोग हैं सच्ची में? I I mean really, I am not generalizing for all homeopaths, 
but uh, i used to do endoscopies for homeopathic trial patients <laughs> yeah homeopathy research institute hai ek uh, well, new bombay mein as in uh, what do they research so they used there? to do research in the homeopathy uh, medicines whether they are effective for conditions related to the stomach so they used to send patients to me for endoscopy i used to tell them that this patient has whatever gastritis and they used to do a study on gastritis mm. they used to send 10 or 20 or 30 patients for scopy mm. uh, before treatment and after treatment to me also uh, i used to do the scopy before treatment compare the findings to the scopies after mm. treatment and <laughs> zero <laughs> not a single patient can resolve work kuch bhi so but kuch bhi nahi don't they see the results man like, i don't know but i know that many of the people too, right? many of the people who were taking the trials with them eventually came to me for treatment also <laughs> i never interfered with the trials mere ko bola tha khali priyan post copy karo mai priyan post copy karke bhej deta tha unke paas khali but i could see that there's no bloody effect ab kya bolu people believe this shit here what to say नहीं मगर मेरे को एक बात बता सो लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स दीज आई हैव इवन रेड आर्टिकल्स ऑन दिस दैट दे हैव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉजुलेंटली एडिंग स्टेरॉइड्स इन होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन एंड अदर वेज ऑफ एडिंग एलोपैथिक थिंग्स इन टू होम्योपैथी एंड देन दे गिव यू होम्योपैथी एंड यू गेट क्योर्ड तो वो होम्योपैथी थोड़ा ना लगता है कि वो जो बंदे ने पहले पहले दिया होगा ना मुझे व्हेन आई फेल सडनली फाइन ही मस्ट हैव चिपकाउड अ स्टेरॉइड इन दैट इसके लिए आई एम इमीडिएटली फेल्ट फाइन सो या पीपल डू दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग बट आई टेल यू वन थिंग मोस्ट होम्योपैथ्स वोंट डू दिस जो जेन्युइन होम्योपैथ्स है दे बिलीव इन देयर साइंस हाउएवर इट मे बी बट इट्स नॉट कॉल इट साइंस व्हाटएवर इट इज व्हाटएवर आई मीन अल्टीमेटली लाइक क्योर्स लाइक नहीं होता है लाइक डजंट क्योर लाइक दैट इज द होल प्रिंसिपल इज लाइक क्योर्स लाइट एंड डाइल्यूशन मेक्स थिंग्स स्ट्रांगर लाइक नो नो सॉरी दैट्स नॉट हाउ थिंग्स वर्क uh but anyway people like to believe that then it's up to them no magar why does the indian government and the ayush ministry pr- promote homeopathy it's not even indian <laughs> 19th century german hoax yeah i mean matlab uh, aryan invasion ko seriously le liya kya hitler ke <laughs> version ko <laughs> i have so many times i have said this remove the h <laughs> remove the a u i a y u s r ko even u nikalna chahiye because yunan yunan is not there also over here and we simply don't know yeah, what is yunani yaar wo kya hai jadi buti hai kya hai wo baba jo raste mein hai wo hai nahi there is a group of medicines like properly yunani medicines hai which are the ancient uh, greek medicines uh, pharmacopoeia ke sab se banate hain very similar to ayurvedic medicines except that they are even more less stringently regulated now yunani medicines and yunani practitioners eventually uh, are in one particular community iske liye shayad usko abhi tak unhone rakha hai most of the people are from uh, practicing and studying it ye to momedians ka hai na basically uh, india mein yunani to matlab kya momedians ka hai na yahan par to i don't think anybody is going to touch that but uh, they are the if you look at the this thing they are by far the वर्स्ट ऑफ द लॉर्ड जिनको कहीं पे कुछ नहीं मिला वो जाके करते हैं क्वाइट बैड दे आर क्वाइट बैड सो मगर दे आर आल्सो लाइक द कंप्लीट अनरेगुलेटेड वर्ल्ड और वो भी वो भी आयुर्वेदिक प्रैक्टिस नहीं वो भी खाली एलोपैथिक मेडिसिन ही देते बैठते हैं पूरा टाइम हु डज यूनानी हु नोस आल्सो लुकमा ने हेयर तेल के अलावा क्या देते हैं यूनानी में वो लोग कुछ नहीं हार्डली एनीथिंग दे डोंट दे प्रोबब्ली मे नॉट इवन नो द नेम्स ऑफ द मेडिसिंस बहुत सो डू यू थिंक ऑल दिस ऑल्टरनेटिव मेडिसिन शिनेगन इज एक्चुअली नथिंग बट अ वे ऑफ गेटिंग फास्टर सर्टिफिकेशन सो दैट यू कैन प्रैक्टिस एलोपैथी वाइल द पुअर डॉक्टर्स हु एक्चुअली गो थ्रू द ग्राइंड डू द हार्ड यार्ड स्पेंड लैक्स ऑफ रुपीज इफ दे वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू स्पेशलिटी मेडिसिन दिस इज लाइक अ शॉर्टकट या this is the lower end of the spectrum so now let so us they will get... always be then they don't you know earn very much or anything you know their income is also low only but so road side pe jo gps honge walk across them you are going to see a litany of degrees you are going to see lceh you are going to see bms you will see bhms you will say dhms which is a diploma in homeopathy wo bhi apne aap ko doctor bulate hain then you will see this bums you will even see bems okay which is electro homeopathy now what shit is that nobody knows 
and the government has officially now declared that mm-hmm. anyone putting doctor after having a BEMS degree will be considered a quack. But इतने साल तक वो लोग भी अपने आम के आगे doctor लगा के practice कर रहे थे. Before I take questions, मेरे को एक last अभी policy के ऊपर discuss करना है. Look, I have never hidden. I have a huge problem with the concept of Ayush. I'm not saying that is your view. Before somebody says. I mean, we are friends. We can have different views also. But uh, I have a huge problem with the concept of my taxpayer money going into this Ayush nonsense. But that's not the aim of this podcast. I mean, it's not like मेरे बोलने से BJP government change करने वाली है, कुछ नहीं करने वाली. But there is another perspective that at least because of the Ayush uh, ministry, there is some level of regulation. नहीं तो ये तो wild west on steroids हो जाएगा. That is also there. The, I've heard doctors coming and telling me, Kushal, don't be so. Anti the idea of Ayush Ministry, and I I hear the doctors who tell me my problem is that we are playing with lives. Now, the assumption, baseline assumption, I want to work for the policy level is Ayush is not going anywhere. At least in India, for the next hundred years, it is not going anywhere. What do you do? You think as a medical practitioner, do we need to do at the policy level to improve Ayush then? <clears throat> quality control better quality trials uh, reconfirm uh, the way that the entire thing is structured has to be relooked at uh, you want to keep your vat pit cuff criteria fine uh, many classical ayurveda practitioners have a problem with uh, disease based uh, treatment ke hum pure person ko dekhenge as a whole uh, so they are not willing to uh, treat on Uh, disease basis, you know, like how we treat. That mm. if uh, X person comes, I diagnose it as X disease, and I treat it. But Ayurvedic person who is doing that practice will see the person and say that what is the body type, which is the body substance imbalance, and he'll try to correct that imbalance rather than give a molecule to cure the person. Mm. Yeah, rather, you know, I will say <clears> in that manner. So this is how the difference in perspective is there. Now, it is not impossible to reconcile both. it's not impossible to reconcile both so i will suggest i have always been an advocate of integrated courses where a person gets exposure to all of the different modalities available for treatment up front during the course itself and there is some effort made by the government to uh, do that also at the end of the day it is up to the person ultimately what benefits what doesn't benefit if i like say i say that okay fine i am going to take up X uh, drug, and I'm going to study it in detail, and I'm going to do my research in that. You know, I should be allowed to do it also. So one thing is that at a policy level, integrated, I feel, is a good thing. My medical association strongly disagree with integrated courses, but I feel it will help everybody. It will. Uh, this this divide is not going to help anybody else. This divide uh, of you bring them into modern medicine. How Chinese medicine has done this? Artisanate ke saath mein you you are aware, I guess. So what they did was they found that kiga hosu, the herb which works fabulously in malaria. They knew that this works in malaria. They found out what what is it in that herb that works in malaria, mm. right? They identified artemisinin. They purified it. They brought it out as a drug, and it's sold worldwide, right? It's a blockbuster worldwide, and it's very effective, right? It's a Chinese study. It's the label of tcm has been kept on that traditional chinese medicine despite it being a modern medicine drug it is still called chinese medicine right hmm so we have somewhere thought that we can't do can't synchronize both the things no you can have an and this is by the way is something I'll, anand is doing anand ranganathan before people yeah. wonder so i'll tell you one thing even <clears throat> there are companies who are doing this Now I'll tell you, हम लोग के पास में तो X, Y, and Z thousand companies come to promote products. Ah, yeah. right? We get products with the biological name. Hmm. Okay. Brought by a regular pharmaceutical company only. They come with the biological name of the uh, of the ingredient. And when we ask them, what is it? They say that it is this. Like for example, there's a, a company which approached me. Okay, you give this, and uh, this is effective for losing some degree of weight, maybe three four kgs. It can help. क्या है उसमें? Fenugreek, methi, refined concentrated methi. <laughs> so this is brought out not as an OTC but as a marketing to doctor product. Hmm. 
as a prescription drug not as an nutraceutical so they have done research they have gone back they have done trials on it they brought it out as a proper medicine and they are selling it to proper doctors hmm तो ये इंटीग्रेशन एक लेवल पे ऑलरेडी चल रहा है एज फार एज द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन आर कंसर्न वेदर द आयुर्वेदिक कंपनीज कीप पेस विद इट ऑन नॉट इज द क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज ऑल ऑफ देयर ड्रग्स इवेंचुअली आर गोइंग टू एंड अप थ्रू रेगुलर मेन स्ट्रीम फार्मा कंपनीज इट सेल्फ इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट नेम्स इनफैक्ट डू यू थिंक द ओनली सोल्यूशन टू दिस इज इवेंचुअली मेन स्ट्रीम फार्मा विल टेक इंटरेस्ट इन सम आयुर्वेदिक uh things and they will start getting extract out of it <laughs> and deal with it and then as always the ayurvedic people who actually now do have the resources there is enough money in this industry now so you cannot complain there is no money there do you think they will miss the bus and then big pharma will capture it they may miss it also because i uh, see big uh, effectively big pharmaceutical companies have been doing studies on these drug on these things only and extracting aspirin is a plant extract right uh, glycom uh, metformin is a plant extract yeah. right these are things which are known to be metformin is that oh. anti diabetic drug mm-hmm. probably the best selling and mm-hmm. one of the best selling anti uh, anti diabetic drugs in the world right mm-hmm. it's a plant extract mm-hmm. jo bolte hai na herbal herbal oh, this is a genuine herbal because these are made actually made from plants and you label them as uh, allopathic medicines with side effects they are also from plant only mm-hmm. so six, about 60% 65% almost of the pharmacopoeia of modern medicine is from traditional uh, things only from plant extracts basically and how do we educate the true believers is the last before i take questions when i say true believers true believers who are practitioners and true believers who are recipients both how do we reach out to them it is all good laughing mocking but at the end of the day sometimes it turns people off also so if i was say talking to these people how do i listen if i go and tell someone i'll share my experience in my life as a disbeliever right or as a skeptic i never try to mock people's faith i never do it why because i realize it's not a more effective strategy i try to work around it so so in fact the best way i found was and i this is something i learned from probably one of the most renowned skeptics on planet earth michael shermer and he narrated the story in one of his very early talks where he would say when the whole challenge to evolution in america had come in school curriculum so what they did was they actually went to a believing christian and made him write the case for evolution by natural selection so do you think the future for reform in this entire industry should not be coming from people like you because they will be like oh you are biased because you are modern medicine practitioner but more people from inside the true believers faculty where they say no we want to expose like what do we how do we approach this so people from within the ayurveda uh, this thing and then there are more and i am seeing that there are a good number of uh, practitioners who are taking it seriously who are working to create more uh, novel formularies now the other thing is that you need to also identify uh, more drugs uh, in ayurveda like the, there are uh, for example in uh, when you go into any uh, rural uh, area there are people who have still very old people who have tremendous knowledge of the local herbs etc etc uh, and only about maybe 5 5 to 10% of them are actually uh, you know made into uh, ayurvedic medicines so that also is a very very big uh, scope which is potentially forgot, there i forgot the name of the woman who had uh, written them all down i forgot i'm completely yeah, yeah. blank there out is, on her name there is, a southern there is, indian woman yeah there are there like that there are everywhere not mm-hmm. only in south even in the north even abhi main uttarakhand gaya tha wahan par on the trek uh, my uh, uh, it was telling me that there is one such lady in his village also mm. who has tremendous knowledge of uh, ancient herbs so in that there are there are people of such nature all across and you need to tap into those extremely valuable resources to find out what are the things how the medicine is prepared and and then start doing studies on that that you can you know that, that there is a big uh, market where where that can be done and do you think modern medical practitioners should actually to improve the state of ayurveda in india or government of india should start actually 
doing longitudinal studies on all these ayurvedic medicines taking them off the shelf and trying to do these studies to put pressure back on them do you think that can be done if they're not no. going to do it we legally can't prescribe so uh, no but what if somebody actually funds a study to show these things work and these things don't work so if someone funds the study we'll have to take an ayurvedic uh, practitioner on board and then take ethics committee approval so every trial that you do you have to take ethics committee approval first uh, so then you take ethics committee approval and then you can uh, do the trial because my biggest concern in this entire process amit is that this literally this this entire space of alternative medicine in courts is the wild west people are prescribing <laughs> anything and they're getting away under legal categories and then they come on television and then they make these outlandish claims whether and... it's ayurved whether it's homeopathy whether it's unani whatever you call it they make outlandish claims the interesting thing is there are only two countries on planet earth where big pharma is allowed to advertise one is america one is new zealand hmm. only these two countries allow advertisements india also doesn't allow advertisements but these ayush category people yeah they advertise they advertise so much that also they advertise it not as uh, you know they'll tell you medicine but uh, you see where it's available toothpaste pe kya likha hai proprietary ayurvedic medicine milta kidhar hai baniye ke pas i mean that that itself you see na what is it i give up <laughs> i just give up and and i'll tell you one thing that uh, uh you know people may not like to hear this but uh, the the thing about this no side effect is harming people okay transplant centers are doing well because liver and kidney transplants are happening in patients who have taken unsupervised unregulated ayurvedic medicine. medicines yes and people may not like to hear this but this is a reality that that there, there are a substan- there are a substantial number of, where do you think i was telling you that you need to monitor i was telling you this exact same thing that the ayurvedic practitioner has to be upfront in saying that this medicine is known to have an effect on the liver monitor liver functions maybe once in 3 days once in 5 days 7 days whatever monitor kidney functions because ye unregulated unsupervised lete hue log lete hain saal saal le rahe hain do do saal le rahe hain panch panch saal le rahe hain i know people who have gulp जस्ट सप्लीमेंट के जैसे लेते जा रहे हैं लेते जा रहे हैं फॉर टेन ईयर्स फिफ्टीन ईयर्स एंड दे एंड अप विथ ऑर्गन फेलियर इवेंचुअली एंड इसके पीछे बहुत सारा हंगामा हो चुका है ऑन सोशल मीडिया यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट या आई डोंट वांट टू टॉक अबाउट दैट पर्सन बिकॉज़ आई आई जस्ट डोंट गेट दैट पर्सन सो बट बट द कंसर्न इज लेजिटिमेट एंड यस या आई आई एग्री विद मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट पर्सन सेज इट्स जस्ट द वे दैट पर्सन सेज इट इज सो इरिटेटिंग सो पर्सन ऑफ द बुक है वो छोड़ दो वो अलग किस्म का है सो यू नो बट बट व्हाट he saying not completely wrong there are cases. i agree with you there are cases yeah and it's not only with ayurvedic medicines it is even unsupervised unregulated developing of modern medicine also that will cause severe problems but we are upfront in saying ki isse ye hoga aap ye bol ke patient ko de rahe ho ki isse kuch nahi hota nahi nahi hum to aapki zindagi badal denge modern medicine ne aapko barbaad kar diya that is the problem is the problem is not that it's causing problems the problem is that you are telling people that it has no side effects because of which people will just go on gulping 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 indefinitely yeah which is which is grossly unethical and dangerous so let me ask you questions so i think this is a medical practitioner i'm assuming i've seen a patient with ulcerative colitis being managed managed as a case of you know what how do you as a surgeon deal with the problem of cross pathy especially with the issues with shar sutra so the thing is that uh, people don't diagnose patient comes and says merko piles ho gaya just because he has bleeding or pain in the rectum and uh, and i have seen rectal cancer being missed like this i have seen uh, you know for a person lay person everything in that area is piles this is unfortunate reality mm. so uh, there are a variety of penile conditions that can cause local problems each of them different from the other i have seen uh, ayurvedic practitioners doing very good uh, procedures for actual hemorrhoids which is piles and uh, giving people cure i have seen also very very ghastly burns induced by people uh, in that area to try to cure diseases 
and also i have seen people doing all sorts of local complications cutting the sphincter cutting the blood vessel and causing torrential bleeding so i have seen the whole spectrum of problems associated with it but but yes uh, shar sutra is a treatment which uh, we also use for uh, particular conditions uh, which is basically high fistula and you know uh, is one particular condition in which we use it now because it's not easy to give a surgical cure we prefer uh, this method in those particular cases and it's not easy to do it's very painful for the person uh you need to change the shar periodically uh, which is a challenge because sometimes the thread breaks and it's not easy uh, so for a regular uh, hemorrhoids or for a regular sentinel tag i don't think shar is a good treatment at all <clears throat> but shar is a not a bad treatment for high fistulas uh, for low fistulas you simply open them surgically and you're done uh, like it's much easier much less painful for the person So this is a little technical answer I'm giving you because the question was of that. No nature. question is asked by a medical practitioner. Okay, yeah. the three questions are from that person. Where does ethical treatment based on pathy end and cross pathy begin? Why is the line so blurry? <laughs> See, people have to be honest in accepting what they can do and what they cannot do. What is their capacity to treat that particular condition? Now, honesty is the only way. And if someone is making dishonest claims, then that person should be sued. i think not enough people so uh, uh, i i wish people <laughs> but yeah mainly yaar ye ye ek aur meri problem hai ki tum logo ko su karna to chhod i mean i know you for such a long time now ki tere hospital mein mujhe malum hai what all you have gone through threats attempts to hit yeah. and what not you goes through मगर आज ये जो चूरन बेची जाते हैं बेची जाते हैं बेची जाते हैं मेरे को इतना फ्रस्ट्रेट होता है इनको तो कोई चपेड़े नहीं मारता इनको तो लीगल यार लीगल तो यार तुम वकील से तो लड़ सकते हो ना वकील हायर करके तो लड़ सकते हो यहाँ पे तो दीज पीपल कम एंड अटैक हॉस्पिटल हु इज अटैकिंग दीज पीपल हु आर सेलिंग ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ बॉलक्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड all sorts of claims are made yeah kya bole uh, that's how unfortunately it is and that's that's why we are also you know a lot of medical practitioners are also because frustrated because of that because uh, we don't uh, enjoy being threatened with in and there's a lot of negative campaigning also done by people ke doctors aise hain doctors waise hain doctors loot lete hain no sorry we are still the cheapest healthcare in the world और अगर हम लुटेरे होते तो वी वुड बी चार्जिंग अमेरिका जाओ पता चलेगा इट इज अंड्रेड एक्स डिफरेंस इन कॉस्ट सम एंड सम प्रोसीजर्स एंड एटलीस्ट द मिनिमम बिटवीन टेन टू ट्वेंटी एक्स एंड हंड्रेड एक्स इज द इट्स अ मैसिव डिफरेंस मैसिव डिफरेंस इन कॉस्ट सो आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट उसके वजह से दैट एवरीवन इज ऑनेस्ट नो बट या इट्स नॉट दैट मोस्ट डॉक्टर्स आर फेयरफुल दैट दे डोंट वांट टू लूज देयर पेशेंट्स एंड दे विल जनरली नॉट गिव रॉन्ग एडवाइस दैट इज द ट्रुथ सो एक एक कोविड का क्वेश्चन आ गया डू कोविड वैक्सीन्स कॉज हार्ट प्रॉब्लम्स कोविड वैक्सीन्स कॉज वैस्कुलर इश्यूज इन अ सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ पीपल uh they do not cause heart problems per se uh but uh, in a in a specific subset of people uh, which is basically the risk group in in uh, the vaccines that we were using covid shield the the subgroup is uh, young females where these problems were noted and they were basically problems bte what we call uh so there are clots at some places and there are uh, blood becomes thin and bleeds at some places and it was in particular blood vessels only that this problem was noted uh, so it was a very specific medical condition and in the interest of safety many countries withdrew the vaccine for that but i would have said that the simplest thing would be to avoid it in the risk groups now for example uh, there was uh, the problem of uh, 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 the the tachycardia the cardiac arrhythmias in uh, young males with the pfizer and moderna vaccines mm. so they should ideally have not given it to young males because they knew that there is a problem in that particular group mm. so there are particular groups where it was known to have that problem and in those groups it should have been avoided and not recommended so other than that the regular people no study has ever shown any other problem and covid itself is toxic to the blood vessels 
and covid itself we saw a lot of covid patients having heart attacks which were extremely refractory and the heart attack did not respond during covid if someone gets a heart attack due to a uh, co- the the nature of the virus itself causes that problem and uh, they did not respond well to treatment even thrombolysis or angioplasties and the patient would uh, just not respond even to those procedures mm. so there is a problem with covid itself rather than the vaccine because the the the, the disease causes uh, severe vasculitis uh, like you had written a long blog on this also right yeah you had written i remember yeah, you had written yeah, about yeah. it i had written yeah. see last comment sir aap city mein hai where patients are more or less educated meri halat samjhiye neonatal ke liye log bhutti lete hain jadi bhutti lete hain yeah unfortunate <laughs> <laughs> that is so unfortunate you know tier 2 tier 3 cities mein abhi bhi ye sab chalu hai tier 2 tier 3 cities have got decent hospitals now a lot of practitioners uh, have gone back and you will not believe it tier two cities have got facilities which which a tertiary care hospital in mumbai would be having mm. ercp eus uh, mris are ubiquitous now in even uh, rural areas there are mris mm. uh, so yeah there is a lot of tier two tier three level pe penetration of diagnostics as well as of good doctors that's good to hear yeah so that's why the flow in the big cities has actually stemmed at least in our area the flow in the big cities has uh, reduced because of better availability of and these are mostly trust hospital because payment capacity is limited so many of them are actually trust hospitals also hmm. if you see a city like indore all the big hospitals uh, chains of mumbai <clears throat> have branches in indore hmm so there is a lot of uh, i don't know if you can call indore a tier hmm. 2 city but but there is a Uh, but there's a lot of uh, penetration even cities which are like that so there are like this there are many s- hubs of medical care being created across all states so yeah it is going mm. into the okay before we wrap it up what would be your last message to people who listen to this on our audio version or or like how would you explain to them ki see main nahi bol raha hu tumhari ayurved ki medicine band kar do ya jho le rahe ho मगर प्लीज डोंट डंप मॉडर्न मेडिसिन इट इज नॉट योर एनिमी हाउ वुड यू एक्सप्लेन दिस आई विल लीव द लास्ट वर्ड टू यू सी इन मॉडर्न मेडिसिन वी नो एंड वी हैव स्टडीड इफेक्ट्स साइड इफेक्ट्स एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स ऑफ एवरी सिंगल ड्रग दैट वी राइट वी नो कि कौन सी दवाई कभी देनी है किसको देनी है एंड वी नो हाउ इट वर्क्स एट अ सेलुलर लेवल ग्रॉस लेवल पे क्या होता है स्मॉलर लेवल पे क्या होता है कितना टाइम वो दवाई रहेगी बॉडी में वी नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट इट you are uh, if you are taking it uh, be assured ki koi bhi dawai lene se pura life long nahi jata hai kuch bhi like many people have this thing ke wo dawai ka mere ko ek saal baad bhi takleef ho raha hai nahi that's not how they work they are they have a fixed excretion time and the the drug will be excreted out of the body after this x number of hours so pehle to if there is a problem with a with a with a modern medicine drug we know how to solve it with an ayurvedic medicine and especially if you are not taking it after consulting an ayurvedic doctor you don't know first of all what you are taking you don't know what are the effects and adverse effects or side effects of that you've just been told that it has no side effects so you're gulping it do not believe such people if you want to take an ayurvedic medicine meet a good ayurveda acharya who knows his stuff and take that person's guidance properly and let that person tell you okay you have to take this for this much time and this much and then you take it if you want and monitor don't just blindly go on taking just because ek bar de diya tha puri zindagi lena nahi aisa nahi hai you need to follow up monitor like how you will follow up with us you have to follow up with the doctor yes. see what he is saying i have, i told you i have seen people whose illnesses are well controlled with ayurvedic medicine so it's not as if it's completely illegitimate or something but the practitioner has to be good the practitioner has to be clean doing his practice knowing his stuff and there are good people like that it's not as if they are not there do not take unsupervised supplements no matter what pill will uh, do not make multiple mixtures at home and keep gulping them every morning hota hai na <laughs> कितने क्लासेस होते हैं आपके घर में <laughs> आगे डू नॉट डू दैट प्लीज डू नॉट डू दैट राइट एवरीथिंग हैज एन इफेक्ट ऑन द बॉडी रिस्पेक्ट दैट 
if you are gulping things every morning i am making a juice of x y z and just gulping it every morning ask yourself why what is the particular thing that you are trying to treat yourself from and do you know what other effects that can have on your body always ask yourself this question consider it like you are taking some modern medicine drug and then then you uh behave in that manner ask yourself some legitimate question isse mujhe kuch problem hone ke chances hai kya iska kya effect hai body mein iska kya aur parinam ho sakta hai ask yourself that even for every single supplement that you will be taking or that you intend to take that is what i would suggest yeah i think i could not have presented it better listen on a very serious note the reason amit and i decided to do this podcast is because we care it's not like uh, mujhe kisi बिग फार्मा ने पैसे दिए हैं कि भाई जाके इनके मैं तो बिग फार्मा के भी पीछे पड़ा रहता हूँ इनफैक्ट दे आर सो अनएथिकल सम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिस स्पेशली ड्यूरिंग कोविड द वे बिग फार्मा हैज बिहेव हैज बीन एट्रोशियस बट द पॉइंट इज दैट वी स्टैंड फॉर मॉडर्न मेडिसिन द साइंटिफिक मेथड नाउ इफ द आयुष बैनर वॉन्ट्स टू कम अंडर दैट एंड गेट्स रेडिक यू नो रिगरसली टेस्टेड आई गॉट नो इशूज देन then it is modern science but the point is they don't do it and then they fool people and then they come up with all sorts of things and and this podcast is out of care this podcast is not out of uh, you know the intention to mock humko we care that's why we you know amit spent so much time you know sending me studies and i read them because amit knew mere ko bhejega to main padunga and and i also sent then sat down i started reading them and 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 it is just disgusting what goes on so amit once again thanks yaar i mean there was acha khana khila thank you for calling <laughs> <laughs> so now guys once again try and understand the aim of today's podcast i am not doing this to hurt your sentiments whether religious or irreligious i'm just trying to make sure that you you know and i know a lot of you get turned off and somebody of, of from not your side of the aisle and maybe uh they may not express these things in a very nice but try and understand most of you the, these things and and th- you know this unique disease is both in the left and right i know lefties who are into this natural and righties who are into this ancient they just may the, the right calls it ancient the left calls it natural that's the only difference <laughs> both of them are full of shit that's all i know so please stop doing this have some faith in modern scientific methods they are not your enemy and if you have taken something out of this podcast try to support it become a member patreon pay youtube pay fanmo pay buy the merch upi donations bhejna bhej do if you can't do anything just like subscribe follow leave a rating if you are an audio listener i'll see you guys next time take care bye bye and follow amit on twitter and buy his book rationalist murders too you you should read it and there's a marathi version of it also if you want you can read the marathi version also if you're from maharashtra take care guys bye bye